Hello, everybody. Hi, how are you? We are back. We had technical difficulties. I am oh, doing yeah. well. This is Heather Alexandra again for Kotaku.com, a video game website about video games. I'm joined in the booth by Paul Tamayo. Once again, a once again, a stuffy Paul Tamayo. We definitely didn't just try to stream. Uh, this didn't happen a few minutes ago. We what had some about? audio. We had some audio problems, but we're fixing it. So this is Forager. This is Forager. This it's is, a. It's going to be a humble game. Yeah, this is presented by Humble. Um, this is out on Steam and. Um, uh, on switch as well uh tomorrow yeah it looks kind of fun pretty dope so it's a little uh survival game but you're also kind of foraging and building and then also base building my favorite thing to do has all games. those little bits all those minecrafty stardew valley bits yeah and also has some zelda bits in it too so if you watch the trailer i haven't gotten that far i also just started off a new game here but essentially what we're doing is we're just you know using our little pickaxe here to uh to just forage for stuff. Yeah, so we're keeping it pretty low key today, friends. Pretty low key. So you see here, I'm getting like fruit and different sort of uh, materials here, like stone and iron ore, right. like, you know, any typical sort of base builder survival game. And then here, if you open up your menu by hitting B on, uh, I'm using an, uh, an Xbox One controller nice on PC. Nice bubbly menus. Nice bubbly menus. I love it so much. You'll see here, you're like four different uh, sort of drop down menus in which you could build different different things and we're looking to build a furnace so we have to get ten need a little bit more stone stone yeah so something some about stone. the way this look rem looks uh, reminds me I don't know why and I could be wrong of, of idarb okay but I, I don't know why my brain is making that association <laughs> it's uh I'm, I'm super curious to like play more of this on switch once it comes out tomorrow like I said we're playing on PC at the moment yeah. but this feels like the perfect little commute game for me. Like, that I love this kind of stuff. Forge looks like it's large enough to maybe be a home for, like, a small... <laughs> like, because we're small. Yeah, yeah. Your, your character's super tiny. So now we can make coal. So we're going to... Let's get a couple more trees down. But, yeah, I mean... I, now we can burn down the forest. <laughs> yeah, now we can destroy fuck yeah. nature. New Green Deal ain't happening here. Yeah, fuck that. Um, no, but, yeah, this game... I, I love these kind of games. I could spend way too long playing these types of games she put out a video about that by the way did she good old ocasio cortez aoc being like here's the future if things were good and i'm like that's a good sound in future <laughs> if we're not good not to get too political for a second oh, but God. i like it when people oh, aren't like you're gonna burn to death yeah oh, i'm hungry so uh, but here we're gonna eat berries and burn everything and so. fruit yeah we're gonna we're gonna live a good life you know in, in video games we can live out our darkest desires seriously including I uh, uh voracious coal con uh, consumption consumption oh yeah and then you see here it's it's obviously turning dark out so i'm gonna make some let's make some coal you, you can gotta, also craft you gotta get yourself into some sort of house okay pal because like <laughs> it's dark yeah so we could do we could also make fish traps and a bridge we can't do anything economic or magical just yet i think that'll come eventually. i do appreciate that there's a sub menu that is just titled magical magical right um, isn't that great uh, so let's obviously, let's go back here. Let me see, um, in order to build a forge, we need iron ingot and some bricks. So like kind of your standard fare of things you need to, to make. We're going to make, uh, let's just make f as much as we can for brick. And then in order to make iron ingot, obviously we need some more. Some iron. Iron, iron ore. There Z we go. Zuko's uncle iron. <laughs> But yeah, let me know if you have any questions in chat and or comments. We've got our eyes on chat. Yeah, we're Feel keeping it real chill. We know that this is a bit of a low-key stream. So Whisper to us or yell totally at us. Totally fine. Feel it's, not, it's not quite asthma. ASMR. ASMR, yeah, not yet. We'll get there. Somebody asks, is the is, is the island a little small? And oh, that's it's a fair tiny. question. Do we uh, do we know if this expands? Do we get to go down to more levels of an island? From from the from the trailer, it definitely seems like it. That's it's, the case. There's I, definitely more to it than just this tiny space. Yeah, I think like the game does a really good job of starting you off here with small things that you only need to really worry about for now, um, and then eventually we'll build out a bridge so we can start to extend. I'll let. Uh, first person in chat decide whether we go north, south, east, or west. Uh, shout me out in the chat. Let me know which way you're trying to go. All right, so let's go. Oh, we also just leveled up a second ago. I don't know if you saw that little animation, but we have skills now. Oh, good. And of course, it's 2019, so we've got a skill tree. Skill tree for for everything. I love this like Mario three looking ass menu and those transitions though. Um, but let's go. Let's go industry. Unlock steel, glass, and gain XP when building. Let's do that. Also, check out this. <laughs> check out this animation. Very nice. Love it. Um, games like this tend to really incorporate a lot of skill tree stuff. 
um, now because I remember when I played Graveyard Keeper, which is a game that yeah. I, I have mixed feelings about, um, even though I, I think it's kind of an interesting game. Um, that game had a lot of different <clears throat> sort of progression paths for, you know, oh, what bit of technology did I learn here, here, right. there? Um, to the point, like, maybe not excessively so, but, like, some of the trees that you see in these games can feel almost like I'm building out, like, a 4X skill tree, like, in Civ or something, right? Right. Which I heard on Kotaku. <laughs> um, it's better than... Uh, I read on Kotaku. On, uh, than Civ... What was it? Civ 4? Which one is he saying? It's, yeah, I think it was Civ 4. With, with the, the with Brave the... New World <laughs> expansion pack. <laughs> All right, so uh, someone's <laughs> saying we should go west. We're going to go west. So in order to go west... That was us quoting Ice T for... Right? Yeah, all my Ice T... On uh, Law & Order. SVU fans out there. During their old school uh, like Gamergate episode. That episode is wild. Uh, <laughs> Every episode of Law and Order is wild. But that one in particular. I, I think oh I think a ton God. I think a ton about the um, John Mulaney bit. Yeah. When he's like, "You mean to tell me <laughs> that there's this guy?" <laughs> it's such a weird. It's like, a little weird. They're thing. like, "Yes, Ice." He's a. Uh, that's like the longest running show or something like that on like network television. Well, I mean, it's, it's got to be really. I mean, Law and Order. Yeah, for sure. Because they just like, like pick stuff off the headlines, like oh. And then you know all those crime procedurals can last forever because you can just rotate in different people, CSI or whatever. Which I don't know, CSI Miami or something had like Chris, what's his face, who played Robin. Oh right, yeah. and wasn't it LL Cool J in that? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> he's licking his lips in every scene. Come mm -hmm. like, come on, LL. Yeah, he's doing a little bit of a Joker thing. You tone it down a bit. <laughs> yeah, buddy. come on. Just get some like, chapstick. Mm, mm, don't get some chapstick. The crime scene. <laughs> uh, but yeah. These people will eat each other. <laughs> okay, let's see. Cast you out like a leper. I don't think we need... What else can we build here? Um, wow, I sound super congested. No, it's fine. I mean, this is like a low-key, super relaxing stream. So I think the oh, thing yeah. is that we just want to build out a couple things. Maybe a little fish trap right next to your little thing there. Oh, or you know a what? nice little area. Let's build it out here. Oh, wow. See what I'm doing? Yeah, and then that way maybe you get some different fish. Get very it. good. Fish are fantastic. Uh, used to used to go down to Cape Cod in Ooh. Massachusetts and enjoy some good fish every summer. That sounds nice. Yeah, I had a lot of friends who were fishermen. <laughs> and then they were like, what do you do? And I'm like, I, I write about things I online. video games and <laughs> feelings. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, yeah, we were out in a storm. It was fucking tough. And I was like, Ugh. But have you been to E3? One time my battery didn't have enough charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, also, shout out to Taco Bell Forever. That's a great name. Yeah. Uh, you're, my, you're my new friend. I appreciate that. I'm going to try... Except for the day when you finally decide that you're, you're like into Del Taco or something. Oh, and then like yeah. you're stuck with that nickname. Good thing is if it's your nickname on PSN, you can change that shit now. That's true. You might lose like all your progress in the division or whatever. But I was lucky because I didn't make one until I was like an adult uh, PSN name. Um, but uh, I did have some shitty gamer <laughs> types. Taco Bell stuff. forever in chat says, I hate Del Taco. <laughs> That'll never happen. Yeah. Super tough. Uh, oh, wait. What's, oh, we leveled up again. All right. Where are we going? Magical? Let's go on and do Magical. Someone says games writing sounds tough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough, man. Well, it depends on your definition Arbitrary. of tough, right? It's, I'm never going to compare myself to my buds who go out fishing or like grabbing lobster pots, but Let's keep going I, I deal with like people who yell at me every day in weird ways. So Yeah, people yell at us a lot. Uh, you know, I, 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 could, I could deal with uh, dangerous uh, sea carp <laughs> hitting me in the face, or I could deal with... Uh, People messaging me being like, uh, uh, can you can die? You, uh, we want you to, uh, can you die? Why do you hate games so much? And I'm like, man, I'm replaying all my favorite shit right now. <laughs> oh, like, speaking of which, I, uh, I'm a dumb dumb and I bought a, a PlayStation 1 classic because it was on sale for like 30 bucks. <laughs> you do have one of those. I got one of them. I'm sorry, but, um, no, it's cool because I played the hell out of Intelligent Cube last night. That game oh, is, oh, hey, Intelligent Cube is actually kind of fun. Underrated. Yeah. And it makes me, uh, wonder why they never made more. You know, I joke about it and I am somebody who is pretty open in their support and, uh, um, sort of, uh, I'm pretty open about how I feel about <laughs> seaweed, but emulation and just like how I think sometimes 
if you don't have access to a thing and the only way to get access to a thing is through certain means then like go for it i think like this i'm saying this for myself i think it's fine like if you are in a country that doesn't have access to certain things like do what you gotta do right um but boy gosh i will probably buy that uh that sega genesis oh, thing that they're I'm gonna put out definitely buying that one i love i love the sega genesis because that seems packed with like that that's one that seems packed with like a lot of really good stuff i'm getting it just for the yuzo koshiro menu music oh, and yeah, nothing well, yeah. else I'm gonna get it so I can play Vector Man on like a oh, God. another different thing. Oh, I'll blow my nose I don't know if it has Vector Man or not. I hope it does. Oh, you gotta blow your nose, buddy. That's okay. Have you <laughs> seen the Capcom arcade stick emulator oh, thing? Yeah. What yeah, do you think about that? Yo, so my position on that well, first off, I should say I saw something on Twitter today where it's like somebody who was in charge of like it it's not MAME. Um MAME which is a. Uh, um like an emulation uh, resource hub. Yeah. Um, but there's some sort of emulation thing being in there, which I don't know how the licensing was worked out on that. So I think some people are kind of curious about that, like in the emulation world. And then also, um, I don't know, it's an ugly looking stick and it I, wish, I wish it had more games. Here's my thing about classic game consoles. F I'm totally for them if you want to do that, but don't, and like I get that licensing stuff or like, getting permission to do other stuff or even having the code for things is difficult um but boy gosh i don't need a mini box to play like 18 games like yeah. if you can like do you know like you like if somebody's making a homebrew genesis awesome thing they will just have a flash cart with tons of shit on it like hundreds of things yeah yeah um right and there's reasons why they can do that and why a company can't necessarily but Man, if you're gonna put out a PlayStation Classic, oof, which what what that have like 15, maybe 20 games. 20 games, yeah. And you know, a lot of them. First off, it's a weird selection. Super weird. And then also, it's like a pretty limited amount when you have resources now to bring a lot of different games to people. Um, I don't know why they chose. I mean, the selection is kind of random, and I remember them doing a little bit of like digging in the code and realizing that there were other games that were supposed to be on that thing. Uh, and it makes a lot of sense because you're like, really? Siphon Filter 1? Like, I love that game yeah, as a I kid. Love, but... I love playing as my bud Gabe Logan or whatever yeah, his name Yeah, damn is. it. <gasps> Wait. But it was just like, okay, we're going with that. I mean, it does have MGS1, which is like uh well, Another chance for us to go, huh? 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 Metal Gear. Uh, what was that noise? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, yeah, but I, I also don't love the way the Capcom thing looks like in terms of yeah uh, it looks the design like boy it looks very large and it yeah. is just in the shape of a capcom logo <laughs> yeah it's like okay cool I, th I think if you want to make those things viable and yeah you have to have it a certain size if you want it to be like hey we're well, the thing that we're trying to do partially is to make what ostensibly is something that will emulate the feel of having like a dual stick arcade cab right right but also um say what you will about you know the PlayStation Classic or even the the SNES Classic. Um, they're small. Yeah. Right. And if you if you're gonna have something like that, you want it to have a ton of stuff, and you want it to be small so that you can have it on your shelf. Right. Like right. my shelf is packed already. Yeah. yeah and it's yeah. only gonna get more packed when the PlayStation Five comes out or whatever the hell, and it's gonna suck. Yeah. So like, give me small, compact boxes with a ton of cool stuff. Yeah. I almost bought the uh, the analog the this Genesis thing that they came out with a while ago. The little Oh, that yeah. you can just pop carts into and, yep. and play. I was so close to checking out, and I was like, nah, let me hold on. And then the Mega the mega SDs out there now, or whatever, which yeah. is like the HD um, one, which right. is really cool. Right. Yeah, I almost bought it, and I was like, no, nah. like all my cartridges are back home. I'm not going to like lug them over to where I live now. I'll wait till November or September or whatever the other one's coming out. I don't particularly have a, uh, a, a, a fair amount of disposable income because I live in New York City. Right. Um, but I'm kind of interested in that new Xbox they announced. Really? I don't know why, because huh. I'm, I'm a dummy. Right. But none none of the things I play on my Xbox are, are physical. Huh. Like, none of them are. As opposed to my PlayStation, which I have plenty of physical discs for, and I make a point to buy certain physical discs for. Um, That's interesting. If, I think if, from, like, a work perspective, it's just easier to have, like, a slightly better machine with, like, a little bit more room. That I don't know. I'm thinking about it. That's interesting. Which yeah. makes me sad. Xbox sad. It's just like a weird price for me. Two fifty is like, mm, I well, don't know. Well, I can't. Well, we're gonna wait. I'm I'm not saying this with a voice of authority. Um, 
but I can't wait for, you know, Sony to be like, hey, the PlayStation 5, the PlayStation Next, or whatever they call it, right? Yeah. Um, is going to be like, my ballpark guess for that is bare minimum $500. Oh, yeah. I will guess 650 yeah, it's got to be like um, if they're if they're touting all the things that they're saying it's gonna have. It's, it's gonna like, be expensive. Yeah, it's gonna be a pricey, which is bananas. Pricey thing. Um, what else can I make here? A key slimy pickaxe. Slimy pickaxe, but you gotta have jelly for that. I'm not ready for that jelly oh. yet. I gotta keep making other stuff. This game is very bootylicious. <laughs> Let's see if I can make what does I mean let's let's aim for the sewing station, I guess. But side, what the hell? side note, sound out in the comments with your favorite Sega game and tell me why it's Skies of Arcadia. No, no, no. Tell me why it's Streets of Rage 2. Don't, don't fucking <laughs> undercut me. We're uh, gonna start I, I've decided tomorrow I'm ooh. gonna start up our playthrough of Skies of Arcadia again. I've been talking about it on and off on streams again. Oh, so now you can expand Shit. once you get gold. I gotta make some gold. So that explains it. You can expand. You build out, you get resources, and then you can expand your little area. That's an interesting way so to I'm do it. I'm building an island for no reason. I'm just going to put a bunch of no, fish traps out there. No, but you could probably um, put an, a bridge in between some islands or whatever, right? Oh, that's true. You're so smart. This is why I have you on the stream, because yeah. I would have just been a dumb dumb. He would have been like, oh, my bridge. <laughs> no. It's fine. Make a bunch of coins real quick. That's it. That's all I got for now. Yeah, keep on going. Streets of, Rage, yeah. Streets of Rage 2, somebody says is good. It's real good. Yeah, but we're going to start up Skies of Arcadia again tomorrow night. Nice. Which will be good. I'll do it once a week. Uh, it was tricky because I was doing a ton of reviews for a while. And then also our company got sold. Oh, yeah. So everything was weird. And now that there's something resembling normalcy. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. on the horizon. <laughs> I'm down for streaming that again at night times. I did a... Um, Back in the day, when I first started here, uh, our previous social media editor had a show where people explained things to him, especially Kotaku staffers, and I had a whole episode where I talked about the Streets of Rage 2 soundtrack. It's true. It might be out there somewhere, that's, but I, uh, uh, that's, I love that. That's you and Alex better. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Alex. I mean, it was a long time ago, and I was like, man, what can I talk to you about? Oh, I know. One of my favorite things ever, Streets of Rage 2. Wait, can I only? Can, are they only allowed to be? Man, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, your wrong thing. Yeah, how do you do it? Yeah, I can't. I had, oh, whoa, it might be. be. Oh, boy. Oh, shoot. Now you just got a bridge. Wait, what? 30 bucks for this one? 50? Oh, I guess we're going east. I'm sorry, everybody. We're go we got to go east. Go east, young man. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, all right, I need to find more. Building games, always interesting. Always have a little bit of that expansion stuff going on, though. Yeah. It's just, part, just part of the genre. What the hell's fiber? Fiber? How do I get fiber? I mean, gotta find like adorable plants. I can make glass. I don't know why I'd make glass. But well, because the White Walkers are coming. Oh, right. Right. Dragon. We need dragon glass. Dragon glass. There's a whole store of it under your. I can't do Jon Snow voice. Jon, <laughs> Jon Snow's just. Jon Snow. That was kind of like John Lennon. Jon Snow from Winterfell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna. It's about the living and the dead. I chose, I chose my, what do you say? I can't do any Game of Thrones people. Yeah, my favorite yeah. is to try and do Jorah. Jorah oh, yeah, Mama. yeah. You do that one pretty well. He's hysterical to me. Um, first off, because he's like such a sad little boy. And also, he, like, a lot of his time in that first season of Game of Thrones was just like being like, explaining stuff to Daenerys. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. the Dothraki. <laughs> Fear any water the horse is gonna drink. He was like see. Wikipedia for like a season. You're like, good for you, bud. He was a Google assistant. Your energy is low. Yeah. yeah. Eat, eat. eat some delicious berries? Oh, that sounds good. Somebody says that their friends got pissed off at them for disliking him. Presum <laughs> presumably Jorah. I mean, you know, pick your poison on Game of Thrones. No one's particularly great. Oh, yeah. Everyone kind of sucks. Except Brienne. She's cool. Everybody else is a goddamn clown. Arya. Shout out to Arya. She's cool. I'm Jon I'm John Snow from Winterfell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bastard. <laughs> that does not sound like him. Oh, no. John, somebody says. Oh, for disliking John. I don't know. He's a dope. Yeah. He's a Stark. Starks are flipping dopes. 
dumbs. Oh, I got mad coins. Whoa. I get I, me a coin. I should buy lands and expand. All right, let's let's do this. Let's expand. The dude? Oh, what was it? Oh, what? What? Hold on. I Wait, I can't. No, go up. And yeah, you're fine. Okay. I'm oh, imagine if you bought a land expansion and you still had to build a bridge anyway. <laughs> I mean, you would just do it for like one square. Yeah, I do one square. Who's this? <gasps> this oh, that's a slime. That's oh, where you would get slime for your slimy pickaxe. Oh. Told yeah, you. you can also roll with that. Oh, jelly's just from slimes. I caught something. Hold on. This is going to be seaweed. Fuck. Yeah, it's very much a fairy fountain. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I won't try and do the great fairy scream from uh, from oh uh, god yeah yeah time. <laughs> and they just sque scream scary things. Small donation. Oh, god. Even charity is a hustle these days. Oh damn! Mm. I could do that though. No, actually, no, I can't. I gotta spend, step my game up. Who so, knows? Who seems knows? like the more islands you get, can I hit this? The more you're gonna meet new folks. <gasps> oh, give me that. Oh, hey. Give me that. Delicious experience. I see you over there. Yeah. Congratulations. Can I hit this? Nice. Oh, she's gone though. Oh, maybe only at night she comes oh. out. Either that or you. And made her go away her. by stealing all of her little fairy pals. Freaks come out at night. Oh. I think about games that are obtuse because I'm playing Dragon's Dogma right now. I hear so much about that game. Fucking hell, dude. Can't believe I missed out on it. When did it come out originally? It's like 2012 or something. Damn. And it's dope as all hell. So I'm gonna stop building this dumb bridge over here for no reason. Uh, let's there's, make some more. There's coins. a class in it called Magic Archer. Okay. I think. And it basically does the lock on from like Panzer Dragoon. Ooh. It's just like beep, 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 beep. You just shoot magic. You had me at Panzer Dragoon. I'm going to drink this delicious glass of water. Do it. What's a, what's a key? What do I need a key for? It has a little bit of ice in there too, friends. Nice. So I got to build my, uh, my cl oh wait, actually I have new skills. How do you not have skills. like an abode? Let me do economy now. Instantly gain 40 coins. I mean, okay. You could. That gives you more land, probably. Yeah, let's do it. I need more land. I need more money to buy land. Create. Forges create four extra coins every time. Okay, that's cool. Unlocks vaults. of vaults. All right. The vault dweller. Left. Ooh, ooh, give me that, give me that. To enter into the wasteland because war never changes. <laughs> okay, wh what was I doing? Oh, yeah, let's see how much I got. Yeah, how you much got some. Are. Damn. Whoa. Oh, nice. You know, that you, you know what's on <laughs> that <laughs> island. You know what I'm talking about? Right, let me go. Wait, so should I like... You could. I should just destroy this. See what happens. Oh, that's cool. I get my I get my uh, oh, wood back. But you also just have a small island with a huge chest. Is that what the key... Oh. oh. You know I got to make that key. Mm. Get out of here. Oh, yeah, you're right. I need to eat soon. Shout out to Taco Bell for reminding me that. It's Appreciate that, nice homie. Bell. Okay, let me see. Uh, what do I need? Gold. Shoot. Had to sneeze over in the sidelines for a second, Ooh. friends. It's all this intense gaming action. <laughs> also, I'm in an anime, and somebody mentioned me in the other classroom. Is that what? Is that the anime trope? Yeah, somebody's uh, talking about you, you sneeze. I feel like I'm getting gold. Uh, then if you see some, some hot gals or hot dudes, then you get a nosebleed. What was that? What lots was that? of lots of no stuff. What was that? Huh? Huh? What was that noise? Who's that dude? That's still one of my favorite things to say. Huh? What uh, was that? Who the fuck was that? <laughs> that that would be your that'd be your line. What? Who the fuck was that? Was no, that, was I, if I was a guard somewhere and all I heard was like, oh, if I saw somebody move nice. out of the corner of my eye, I'd be like, I'm done. Yeah, fuck this. I don't get paid like, enough. No way. Can't do it. You do not pay me enough for this. It's no good. Can't do it. That's when you try and make Solid Snake fire the Stinger missile launcher at the end of Metal Gear Solid when, spoiler alert, Gray Fox is giving his monologue. Oh my god. Snake goes, it's no good. Can't do it. I learned so much about military things playing Metal Gear Solid because it just teaches you the whole time. Yeah, I've also learned a lot of fake things about the military too by playing That's Metal true. Gear Solid. That's true. Every now and then they're like, 
oh man, Army's Force 21 trials were about uh, tactical IT deployment. And you're like, okay, cool, like information technology on the battlefield, I get it. And then they're also like, also, this guy was a vampire, but we didn't call him vamp because he's a vampire, it's because he's a bisexual. And you're like, <laughs> oh, well, oh, you're like man, oh, I don't know if that's how code names what? work, Okay. but okay. Like kind of weird, but uh. Somebody asked if I'm still playing Dragon's Dogma. I was just talking about it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she is. It's oh, great. I'm gonna kill. Hold on, hold on. Oh, dude. You gotta go, homie. Oh. Um, Give me that bacon. Well, maybe you can make armor or something. That's cool. They're like little jelly onigiris. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I haven't gone to uh the market for a while. I should go sometime. Oh yeah, word. Well, we can. Oh. Yeah, yeah, don't true. don't don't beat up your own. I know. Machine. Like, Get to work. Oh, look, she's back. Oh, so it is nighttime. <laughs> oh, now you come back when I'm making money, huh? Okay, I see how it is. Mm. I see how it is, girl. You weren't around earlier. Yeah, you wasn't with me shooting in the gym. All right, let's go. Actually, I can make a. I could probably make a coin now. Well, you no, need a key for the. Th I mean, a key. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I need gold in ingots. Yeah. Oh shoot. Oh, cause you were you, you were making coins. Making coins like a fool. I got caught up in the. Is in this the, out? Somebody asked. Is it tomorrow? Right? Tomorrow, yeah, it comes tomorrow. out tomorrow on PC and Switch. PC and the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch just becoming a console with a bunch of like super chill stuff on it. Love it. It's pretty good. Give me all the. Give me these kind of games. And then later on tonight, uh, Joker in uh, oh, yeah. Smash Brothers. Get ready for that, everyone. Whoa, looking good, Joker. I can't do a Mona impersonation. I like. Uh, I only ever listen to my girlfriend play that game, and I just love when he goes, "Let's do it." <laughs> oh yeah, it's um, it's a decent game. I have mixed feelings about Persona as a series sometimes. Um, hit us, hit us with some hot takes. Uh, I think uh, yeah, it's hot takes. <laughs> here's my hot take. Uh, those games need to do a better job uh, portraying like gay people and stuff. Okay. But also, hey, they're super stylish, so that's fun, and the combat's fine. But also, hey. Uh, maybe not all your gays need to be like weird foppish people who are preying on folk. folk. Oh, that's that's messed up. Yeah, it's not good. That's not cool. Not perfect. Um, but I do I do like person person I like Persona. 5, I think I might like Persona Five more than Persona Four. Hmm. Um, Persona Four's characters have a, like it spends a lot of time going into their personal stuff in some interesting ways, and there's some cool stuff in there, but. Man, P5's just stylish. C uh, confession time. I don't, well, it's not true. I have played a Persona, but I've only played a little bit of Persona 5. That's fine. Uh, Somebody says, hope Persona 5 Royal is coming to the Switch. Um, yeah, I do too. I, there's also some sort of weird universe where we get Persona 5 Royal come out and then just normal Persona 5 oh. somehow ends up on the Switch would be really weird. Um, but we live, in he we live in hellacious times. Hellacious. So anything is possible. That's true. Um, Yo, there's more slime for you to get. That's the only time. Oh, back up, fool! That's the only time I'm probably gonna play it. I, I I started playing it and I was like, no, I want this on my Switch. Let me let me wait until it comes out on Switch. Yeah, I want the royal version because like somebody's saying, um, like when they did Persona Five, or excuse me, because we're talking about Persona Five, when they did Persona Three stuff on the Vita, they had a version where um, you could play as a girl. And yeah. That was really cool. That's um, cool. She was like super stylish. I just like I don't know. For me, recently, like RPGs have have like meant Switch <laughs> for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, like a totally. Yeah, I just like want to play those out and about. I don't want to be tethered to my TV at home. Also, because like those, I mean, generally speaking, those games don't really require like I don't know my 4K HDR TV. I'm cool no. with just playing it no, on. No, you're you're, yeah, no. you're fine doing other stuff. I get, did you do you got enough for a key yet? You gotta find gold. Yeah, I know. So I'm, what I'm doing right now, my strategy is to just get a bunch of XP by just. You're gonna be overrun by trees stuff. too. I know. These trees need to go. Get yeah. out of here, trees. You also hold down the right trigger. That's good to know. Pro tips. I'm gonna tell you something I read today. What's that? There, I did not know this. Hit me. But I think it was somebody who was involved in the genocide in Rwanda. Okay. She saved a bunch of people by pretending that she was a witch and like scaring what? folks away. Yeah, that's fine. And like keeping people safe and I think she passed away today or yesterday Damn. and like that's yeah. that's a real one. Yo, right word. Shout out to you. Like, good for you. Rest in peace. That was, like that's that, like it's so interesting to hear a story like that now. That is pretty cool. I just wanted to share that with somebody cuz I thought it was one of the more interesting things I've heard all day. Unlocks braziers. 
Not that. Not Brazzers. Calm down, everyone. There's Brazzers. not a plug in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unlocks leather. I think the sewing one would be the one that would give you all the thread stuff that you eventually need. Let's do it. You gotta make a sewing station. All right, here we go. Give me some gold. Here we go. Oh, hey. Give me that gold. Hey, now. <laughs> that was a very Omar Little. Hey, now. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, whoa. Give me that That's gold. Perfect. I got to make them. Oh, wait. So, wait, hold on. Where do I have to go? I have you to need go here, gold right? ingots. You need gold ingots. Oh, need, fool. You need two of them. <laughs> you really went off on that slime for a second. <laughs> so rude. All right, I just need two of these. You only need two. All right, cool. Yeah, these are the, like, I could play this on the Switch and, like, really relax. I have Stardew Valley on the Switch, too, though, so. Yeah, I mean, like, for a while, well, let me talk like, for a while, uh, Moonlighter was my kind of. Yeah, Moonlighter's good. I love Moonlighter. Uh, somebody messaged me once to be like, why didn't you guys write about Moonlighter? And I'm like, man, we did. I did write about Moonlighter. I talked we, about we Moonlighter. We talked about Moonlighter all the, like, not, like, incessantly, but we yeah. were like, hey, this is a cool game. Dope game. Moonlighter reminds me of, there's another game on the Switch, not on the Switch, on like, you can get on Steam and stuff, um, called Reseteer, where you run an item shop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which, um... I had never played anything like that at first. Whoa. What? A lantern. Oh, heck yeah. Good stuff. I love uh, I love games that let me just lead a simple life, you know? Is it just following you around? Yeah, I think so. It's kind of cute. Look at, look at it. Magical. Cute, cute. Skirt. Yeah, Reseteer is fun. Okay, okay, so now what? So I need more money, right? Or maybe I have enough. I don't know, man. Let's find out. I got oh, I have 56. All right, so I'm going to get some... Uh, whoa, there's a, there's a bug in here. There's a little bug. It's weird. There's a bug in the studio. It's going to get us all sick. It's going to kill us. It has an infection. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, for the, uh, the last stream. It's, it's carrying all this stuff. Uh, let me go... Oh, fool! Break your stuff. Yes. Okay, I, I got to go over there to get that gold. You know about that gold. <laughs> yeah, what's up, dude? Paul Tamayo, literal gold digger. That's right. That's right. Shout me out in the uh, chat if you're a sugar mom. I'm looking. If I owned, like, a mining company, that would be my business card. Sugar mama? No, literal gold, <laughs> literal gold digger. <laughs> like, if I was, like, somebody who mined oh, shoot. gold. This is why you need to unlock vaults, I guess. Oh, yeah. You just eat a shit ton of berries. Oops, all berry style. Make some gold coins. Oh, what is that? Hold on, hold on. Man, the slimes are always hating on me. All right, let me let me eat. I mean, you need the flowers, man. Can I eat this? Meat? Just eat it raw? Absolutely. Gross. Can. Ruby. Some prosciutto. Fantastic. Reseteer's tag on Steam. Somebody says it's capitalism. Yep, makes sense. <laughs> That's cool. That is partially a game about like going into dungeons and grabbing stuff, and then also maybe undercutting people on your prices. You know? Love it. It's great. Okay. Thanks. I love it. Yeah, another game we played recently on stream was um, uh, Satisfactory. Yeah. That game is so good. Somebody's, God. Somebody says, I heard Heather earlier say SNES, and it reminded me of one time hearing a streamer pronounce it SNES. And SNES sounds like a Nickelodeon character. Am I the only one who grew up pronouncing it S -ness? Yeah, probably. Probably. It's okay, man. I mean, I, I don't mean to. Don't worry about it. Everyone has oh, weird like... things about themselves. Yeah. You're, you're, we value. I can't spell you. the word pleasant and I'm a writer. There you go. There's something weird about me. I had a hard time. Pleasant. Pleasant. Everybody has one word in their life. Oh my God. I, I was trying to spell something earlier today and I, oh, accommodate. Spell accommodate. Accommodate? Yeah. K C C O M O D N T. No. Two M's. Oh, two M's. That fucked me up. That fucked me up. I felt like I've been li living a lie this whole time. I thought it was one M. But I'm a I'm a visual person when I write anyway, so. You gotta type it so out. So it looks easier. It's weird, man. It messed me up. Pleasant. Now I'm thinking of Pleasantville. Good movie. That Toby, is a good movie. Toby Maguire and uh, Reese Witherspoon. Wow. And William H Macy is like the dad and stuff. 
Very good casting. Don Knotts is in that. He's like, oh, you, you wanted to go and uh, <laughs> go go on the television. Did, didn't William oh, H. Macy? Oh, no. Didn't he get caught up in some weird stuff recently? Like some weird legal shit? Um, or am I bugging? So, I don't... Maybe it was the college admissions weird yeah, stuff. Yeah, maybe it was Where that. he was adjacently involved. Or like... To, I'm getting this story botched right now. But I don't think he was like scheming William H. Macy to do that I don't know somebody um, yeah people are saying it was his wife oh it was his wife and then somebody else is saying he was saying he said something super racist what I hadn't heard about that what do you say yeah but I remember the 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 paying like the college admission weird paying stuff and like they were like oh no like he didn't know Yeah, I did Whoa. it. Figured it out. Congrats on solving the puzzle that we didn't really understand. <laughs> it's just one, two, three, four. Just hit a bunch of buttons and now I got giant chest. Oh, yeah. Depends on what oh, I need a key. Oh, well, you know how this works. This isn't your first rodeo. No, what am I thinking? What am I doing? This isn't your first rodeo drive. You think uh, You think eventually I'll, I'll get a chance to have kids and then uh, pay, bribe them into getting accepted? Nah, because like... Too much, right? We're gonna have to prepare them for like Mad Max future. I meant it, I meant in this game. Oh, in this game. <laughs> but oh, I yeah. thought you meant in real life. I was like, I was no, like, no, no, man. I'll never get there. But you know, it's nice to want things. I was like, no, like we're gonna have to teach them about like how to maximize their usage of all their guzzoline and their tankers. <laughs> <laughs> in this game, right, right, in this right. game, maybe you can bond with some folks. Yeah, I feel like it's possible. Anything's possible. Wait, where do I get iron again? Where um, I think it's the blue ones. The blue ones? The ones that oh, are yeah, bluish. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's not crystal, though. I th like, that's their version of metal. I'm not sure. Someone's asking, are the islands random? It seems like they're pretty random. Yeah, I mean, that would make sense, right? Yeah. To cool. have um, little expansion islands that kind of have some random topography. Oh, look, there's poop. I can pick up the poop. Oh, hey. Okay, hold on. Let me make some... Uh Gotta gotta find uh, stuff in your inventory you don't need so you can pick up literal shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got to write the phrase shit and poop a lot in an article about Sekiro recently, and uh, I, I'm a, I'm a mature human being, right. but also it's kind of funny. But that's pretty funny, dude. That's awesome. Any chance? Any time you get a chance to say poop or something? I was writing about a boss in Sekiro who, oh, yeah. who uh, happens to have some gnarly, Spoilers. gnarly moves. Huh? I'm just kidding. I don't care. I also, try, I try and be non-specific. I need to uh, get back into Sekiro because I was away for four days. Good game. It's a real good game. Definitely one of my favorites I've played this year. I'm uh, I'm doing a new game plus thing right now, and Ooh. it's really interesting to go through that game, just like it is with any soul, like kind of from soft souls game to go through once you actually know stuff. Yeah. It's so different. It's such a different experience. Um, maybe not as magical as uh, that first experience because everything is a surprise around the corner, but you know. Um, you got a skill point, so maybe oh, yeah, you got that. vaults. Is that how you make? Uh, oh, that, you have to probably unlock that, right? So it's probably under... Well, vaults was the one to the far right, right? Oh, right. Storage. Let's do it! So that way you don't have to worry about being like, I have too many berries. I can't pick up the poop. Too many berries, a Paul Tamayo story. <laughs> Paul Tamayo joint. The Paul Tamayo story. Too many berries. Okay, what else did I need? I needed gold ingot. Yeah. I'd, I'd watch a weird thing called Too Many Berries. Like too many if, berries. If, it, if it was like Too Many Too Many Berries, a Spike Lee joint. <laughs> oh like, my god! I'd be like, yeah, 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 I don't even know what that is, but who, like, who, let's, let's who's go. in that? Who's in that movie? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, like Denzel. Denzel, yeah, for sure. It's like there, there are too many berries. Okay, <laughs> okay, laugh, okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All oh, right. Oh, oh, I see. Just, oh, look at all these berries. Oh, I, huh? I see how it is. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. That that's good. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, you want you want some berries? <laughs> you do it so good. <laughs> uh, where? What else? What, what can I oh, get? I should, should rewatch Inside Man. It's delicious. That's a good movie. Uh, it is a good movie. It's a fantastic film. It's got Clive Owen in it. Wow, remember Clive Owen? Does Clive Owen remember Clive Owen? <laughs> I rem remember those BMW vi movies he was in, the short films. Did you ever watch those? Yeah. <laughs> those were pretty awesome. Yeah, it's good stuff. Oh, you got to open that big treasure chest. Give me that key. Oh, nerdy glasses. Expe experience oh. gain up. So I have to imagine that when you're finding chests, 
and finding items, they're randomized like if you were going into rooms in Binding of Isaac or something. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Of like, oh, what what item pick up am I getting here? It's not like you always go north to get the glasses. Unless maybe you can have seeds in here. So if you knew what the seed was for this was and you posted it in chat, people could play in our world, right? Because right. mi Minecraft and other things do that. Um, but I get the sense that this is a lot more randomized in terms of go north and maybe there's a chest and XYZ thing and eventually maybe you'll find a dungeon to go into. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Or whatever. I'm right. looking forward to finding a dungeon or something. All right, let's having, see. Having fast EXP gain like at the start of a game ain't a bad thing, though. Word. Like, it's pretty good. Or 20, <laughs> baby. I mean, it's clearly the next place we have to get. 80. I'm thinking about... Oh, fool. Denzel, <laughs> and, uh, and but, that, but that made me that made me think of the Equalizer, which made me think of uh, John Wick, which made me think of Keanu Reeves. Oh my God! I'm telling you how my brain works, and yeah. I, I watched a video of him from some sort of thing he did for GQ, where he just oh. talks about like all the motorcycles it's he owns. It's such a good video. And you're like, man, I know nothing. Like I know nothing about motorcycles. My uncle rides motorcycles, right? Yeah. I don't own a car. When I moved to New York for this job, I sold, I, I donated my car to an LGBT center in like Seattle. Cool. Right, like um, I don't have transportation. I get on a weird shitty tube thing every day that goes yeah. underwater and it that's breaking in terrible ways. And that has killed people as recently as like this week. Oh yeah. Um, so, but but Keanu Reeves is like, oh yeah, like let me, oh man. I, <laughs> Keanu Reeves talking about motorcycles is probably it's, one of the best wild. things. <laughs> best things I've ever seen. Yeah, I love that video is so good. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. If you, if you, My dad's actually really into motorcycles. He's way cooler than I ever will shout be. Shout outs to, to GQ. Speaking Word. of GQ, our new our new writer here, uh, Josh, used to do a lot of stuff for GQ. Oh, cool. He uh, recently had an interview go up there where he interviewed uh, Rob Delaney. Oh, that's awesome. Kind of like the um, comedian. I knew Rob because I used to do stand-up comedy. Um and now he's kind of like a, a pretty big socialist, like progressive voice on uh, on the internet. On the internets? I don't know if we've had Josh in the booth for a stream yet. No, I was going to stream with him the other day, but uh, yeah. not maybe maybe, uh, maybe soon. We'll get him in here soon. Yeah. We're going to get even more folks in. I know you and Cecilia are probably going to show off Joker in uh, Smash. Yeah. Actually, I think it's going to be uh, Ethan and Cecilia. That's still pretty good. Because I'm trash at Smash. I mean, they have like something of a weird rivalry going on. Yeah. It's fun to watch. You don't want to watch me play Smash. It's not. It's not fun. <laughs> oh yeah, you hate to see it. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh wait, never mind. I, I got um, hyped for no reason. I thought you were gonna kill the chicken. I mean, you, that's not that's not me endorsing chicken killing. I just was surprised that you didn't kill the chicken. I mean, I need to eat some, so right now I'm gonna eat the chicken. There it is. Bam. You gotta find a way to cook stuff. I know. They're adding cooking to Sea of Thieves. Oh, that's cool. There you go. That, I said that like a child, like who just learned a new <laughs> fact. <laughs> Uh, zebras have spots. <laughs> uh, okay, cool, Heather. That's, that's real that's nice. Great. Yeah, I read in a that's book great. the other day that they have like all these spots, and also ocelots have them too. Ocelots live in trees. Wow, Heather, that's great. Yeah. Good for you. School's re really <laughs> paying off, huh? All that money I <laughs> I spent to get you into that school. Meanwhile, somewhere, ocelots are like, why are they talking about me? <laughs> Revolver there ocelots. I'm just out here for the gold, baby. I'm going to get some gold. I'm go. taking it back to the Patriots, Sergey. <laughs> Somebody says Jason hasn't uh, been on the Twitch channel too much. He and Kirk used to do a couple of things where they would stream some stuff, like weekend marathons. Um, uh, Kirk Kirk Hamilton ran off to become a professional podcaster. I know, right? How dare he? <laughs> How dare he pursue his passions? You make a real cool podcast. What's wrong with you? It's a you? pretty good podcast. It's great. I'm not just saying that because I know him and he's a friend. It's actually like... No, it's like a legit good podcast. Kirk, Kirk is super into music. And he has a podcast where he talks about uh, good songs and what makes them good. Strong songs. Strong songs. Go check that out. Smash that subscribe button. Oh, oh man, there. your island is just getting dirtier it's and crazy dirtier. Right now. Oh fool! Run up on me like that? I gotta get. Over, I gotta get to the gold. Oh, oh, you thought you got me? <laughs> huh. Uh huh. Oh okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, 
I like that version of Pelham One Two Three with him and John Travolta. Oh my God, Travolta I, really I like, went for it. I like the original Pelham One Two Three with uh, who, who's who's the bad guy in that? Is it uh, Robert, is Robert? Oh, is it Robert Duvall? No, it's not Robert Duvall. I can't think of it right now. I like that one too because that because that's a little uh, dapper. But the one with uh, John Travolta, he's just like, "You're my goddamn hero, Garber." <laughs> He's like, he's like Rob and stuff. He he's the closest I've seen to an on-screen depiction of like Dutch Vanderlyn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a dude who just cares. I'm Dutch Vanderlyn. <laughs> what a weird movie. It's not even called Pelham One Two Three. The taking of the Pelham One Two Three. Yeah. What the the remake was just called Pelham. No, I think it's still called Taking the Pelham One Two Three. It's weird. What a weird choice. Now I'm thinking of a. Uh, this is a loose stream. Uh, now I'm just thinking of uh, Dutch Vanderlyn. Oh, yeah. I mean, how could you not? Well, I mean, like every day I try not to lose faith. Yeah, that's true. Because I hear his voice going, You're just a little longer. <laughs> just a little longer, Heather. I got it. We'll buy a boat. <laughs> you're, Go like, to Guam. you're like, this is not. Like what? I don't know, but. You sure, bro? He's like, yeah, it's going to oh. be great. Oh, that's, that's fiber. Let's go. Well, about to build a Fios up on this island. <laughs> Oh, you <laughs> thought you was slick gold? <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me just eat this gold real mm. quick. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, you thought you were safe back there. Oh, okay. All this gold, huh? Uh-huh. Right, uh -huh. right. Okay. Let me get this gold real quick. I had to roast this bird real quick. <clears throat> yeah, cook. Well, I mean, there's got to be a way where you learn to cook stuff, I imagine. There's got to be ways to expand all, all sorts of the things that you can do in this game. Yeah, I think the next thing I'm going to do is build... Build one of those vaults, right? Did you unlock yeah. them? I, I unlocked them, yeah, but I think I have to like get something else to... Is it under like your... Use them? The, um... Yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah but it's like... it's uh, I Economic, need steel need and brick. Ste steel? Yeah, so... What the hell? First, I'm going to... Yeah, how the hell do I get steel? We're a primitive society. We don't have steel what yet. What the hell is steel? You have, um, you have bronze and m some iron. Shout me out in the chat if you remember steel with Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> actually, uh, Shazam really reminded me of that movie. Mm. Here we go. Ooh. Did Shazam also remind you of Shazam with Shaquille O'Neal? Oh, my God. No, that's Kazam. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, Shazam is the one that everybody thinks exists. Yeah, with uh, Shazam is Sinbad. the one that everybody thinks Sinbad is in. Yeah, and everybody, yeah. Everybody's like, yeah, no, I totally love that nah. movie with Sinbad. And, and everybody's like, like that nope. does not exist. It never happened. You are a lying, you are a liar. <laughs> oh, did you see? Uh, there's a video of um <gasps> of Jonathan Frakes, um, the dude who plays Commander Riker on Star Trek. Uh -huh. He had some sort of show on sci-fi where they would tell stories and th they would either be fiction or made up or like real. And I guess there were points at the end of the story like um, <laughs> sort of like uh, um, the end of like Are You Afraid of the Dark where they would tell a little bit about the story and like say, if it was not real, he'd be like, no, it's fabricated. It's totally false. And there's this video of just him going, nope, not this time. <laughs> it was invented by a writer. It's very, very good. I check that out. This seems wow. like turning in stuff to this person will yield rewards of some kind. Even Trapping. Eventually. Am I going to sell drugs? Eventually. Just like how those castles made of sand, my friend, mm. fall into the sea. Okay, so we're not ready for this. We are eventually. very broke. Oh! <laughs> An error occurred while trying to read our safe file. That might be it for the stream, though. Oh, yeah, it is too. Yeah, that was about our hour. Please try to load your game from a backup. Can we get it back? Oh, man. oh no. Oh no. I guess we're just gonna have to play more Pico Nico. Let's let's see where where it left us off. Let's see what happens. Well, let me go back to. Heartbreaking. I think I'm okay. Oh, it seems over, right? Whoa, whoa! The uh, controller was vibrating well, and it crashed again. Well, it's doing some sort of download. Oh, it's syncing your data. Oh, weird. Well, well, this comes out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> this game drops tomorrow on Switch and PC. In enjoy our weird stream where we just like rambled for a little bit. Yeah, and, and our Denzel impressions. Um, thank uh -huh. you. So yeah, thank you so much for thank tuning you. in. Okay. Okay. All right. All okay. right. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you some other time. All right. Okay. <laughs> Have a good one. Say hi to your mother for me. <laughs> yeah, it's turning into Mark Wahlberg. <laughs>